Hey everyone, welcome. So in this video, I am going to go through a quick walkthrough slash demo of our new multi-network Loopring DeFi dApp, which is a new core pillar product of the Loopring ecosystem that brings Loopring multi-network and scalable to the world. Um, this new Loopring DeFi dApp actually bridges together the CeFi and DeFi worlds, which is centralized finance and decentralized finance, by serving up users three unique products that all tap into centralized exchange liquidity, but served up directly to your self-custodial wallet on Ethereum. So today we're going to go through what these three products are, how you can connect to the dApp, and what networks are available and how to deposit into it. So to tap into the new web app here, you can just go to defi.loopring.io and it'll bring you here to our homepage. And this kind of goes through three products that we have available within the Loopring DeFi app. The first one here is dual investment. This is a very popular, one of the most popular products across centralized exchanges right now. What it allows you to do is to uh, earn high APYs, so like earn interest basically, while you're waiting for the price point that you want to either buy or sell an asset. Um, we have many tokens available like LRC, like Ethereum, like Bitcoin and stable coins as well. So you can invest into these products and earn some interest while you wait for your price point that you want. For example, if I want to, uh, if I'm holding on to some ETH right now and I have a target price in mind of say $5,000 for Ethereum, I can look for products that offer you interest to pre-sell your Ethereum at that price. And if your price is not hit during the period that you're investing, then you'll just earn interest. If your price is hit and you accumulate that interest, but it's all swapped for USDT, for example, you would sell your Ethereum at that preset price for USDT. So yeah, that's a pretty cool product. It's a leading on-chain product that's served up directly to your self-custodial wallet and no need to deposit to uh, a SEX in order to access it. Even though you are getting SEX liquidity, you can do it all from your self-custodial Ethereum wallet. The next product here is our new portal, which is super cool. It's a unique product that we, we came up with ourselves, but it's uh, similar to leverage trading that you would find on centralized exchanges, except again, straight from your Ethereum self-custodial wallet, you get access to all sorts of different coins. Like the very unique thing here is you can actually leverage trade long or short on coins that you can't find anywhere else on Ethereum because they are not Ethereum-based tokens. For example, Solana or the meme coin with or Dogecoin or like actual Bitcoin. Um, you get the liquidity from centralized exchanges of these coins you can leverage trade them long or short up to 5x leverage at this point. Um, and you can do it all from your self-custodial wallet. Super, super cool. The next product that we have here is Block Trade. Block Trade, um, similar to the portal, gives you access to uh, different coins that are available on centralized exchanges, maybe not necessarily available on Ethereum like Bitcoin. You can actually swap uh, Bitcoin with sex Bitcoin liquidity, but straight from your self-custodial Ethereum wallet. The difference here is that there is no leverage. Th these are just straight swaps. So you can swap Bitcoin for a uh, stable coin. You can swap a stable coin for Bitcoin or for ETH or for LRC. Different coins are available. And again, this taps into sex liquidity, which makes it super unique because once again, you do not have to deposit your coins into a sex. You can keep them in your own self-custodial wallet that you control, and you can still make swaps using this sex liquidity, getting the best pricing available. All of this is made possible thanks to the Loopring protocol, which is the longest standing ZK rollup on Ethereum. 
this protocol, we were the first to launch a ZK rollup on top of Ethereum as a layer two. And now we're taking the same protocol and we're deploying it as a layer three across many other networks. So it's got very long battle tested security uh, since 2018, I believe was when we first released it. Um, and what makes it uh, a little bit unique is that it's an application specific ZK rollup as opposed to a general purpose rollup, as you see many like Pico, Optimism, Base, all of these are general purpose rollups. Loopring is actually an application specific rollup. So what this means is we highly optimize it and use it for scaling and optimizing our own products. It's not a general purpose where anyone can just build and deploy on top of our protocol. This, this protocol is uh, highly specified, highly optimized for our, our use of scaling our products. So a big advantage of this is that we can highly optimize and lower transaction fees and create a high throughput for our protocol and then deploy this protocol wherever we want across many other networks. So as you can see at the top here, currently it's available on the Ethereum network and now we just went live on top of Tyco as well. So what this means is our Loopring protocol is deployed directly on top of Ethereum. This is our Loopring layer 2 protocol. This network has been available for quite a few years and is uh, very battle tested. We have our Loopring DeFi suite of products on top of there and we've been testing them on the Loopring Layer 2 network. And now we've just released this Loopring protocol on top of Tyco as well. So we've put our ZK rollup on top of Tyco Layer 2 as a Layer 3. And we use this protocol now to offer this new Loopring DeFi dApp on top of Tyco. So when you deposit to the Ethereum network, you're actually depositing to the Loopring protocol as a Loopring layer two. When you deposit to the Tyco network, you are depositing to the Loopring protocol as a layer three on top of Tyco. So there is a differentiation. Um, in the future, you will see this populated with many more networks. We are planning to heavily expand this across many other networks like Optimism, like Base, like Arbitrum, like ZK Sync, and many other networks to come. But for the sake of this tutorial today, we are going to deposit to the Loopring Layer 3 protocol on top of Tyco. So we're going to deposit to the DeFi DAP on Tyco. All you have to do. Um, like I mentioned earlier, head to defi.loopring.io and you can use any Ethereum wallet. Today, we're gonna to be using a MetaMask wallet. You just connect your wallet. And boom, my MetaMask is now connected to the Tyco network. I'm going to unlock the wallet, sign a message to connect. And now my wallet is unlocked and available to start accessing the DAP. I'm going to head to the asset page here. This is your main portfolio page. As you can see, I don't currently have any assets in the DeFi DAP, which means on Loopring Layer 3. So I'm going to deposit the assets I have currently on the Tyco Layer 2 network and deposit them to bring DeFi on Layer 3. As of right now, Ethereum is the only supported deposit token. Um, this could change in the future as we add more support. I'm going to add 0 0.01 ETH. Make sure you reserve a little bit extra in your Tyco Layer 2 wallet because there are a small amount of fees. These are gas fees on the Tyco network. And just as a summary, my 0.1 ETH depositing to my Loopring Layer 3, which gives me access to the Loopring DeFi DAP. And as you can see, there's just a small uh, 60 cent fee on the Tyco network to deposit the assets. And now we're just waiting for the assets to deposit to Loopring DeFi. And boom, there they are. I now have 0.01 ETH. 
locked into the DeFi DAP and available to start using within the DAP. All you have to do to start accessing the products, just click along here what you want to start using, block trade, portal, dual investment, and you can start using everything. This is the block trade interface. This is where you can swap, for example, Ethereum for USDC or vice versa. You've got access to Ethereum, LRC, USDT, and WBTC. This WBTC is what you would be holding in your wallet. Uh, it's wrapped Bitcoin. However, when you make these swaps on BlockTrade, you're actually swapping with real BTC liquidity on a centralized exchange. So you're getting very good price execution. And then there's the portal and there's dual investment as well. In a future tutorial, I will go in depth into these products and uh, more, more details on exactly how to use each of these products. But for the sake of today's tutorial, I just wanted to quickly show you how to deposit to the DAP and uh, a quick summary of each of these products inside the DAP. One last note, um, a lot of these different products, because they are tapping into centralized exchange liquidity, have uh, minimums. So for example, there's a around a $200 minimum for block trade swaps. Um, I believe dual investment is around the same. So just keep that in mind when you are depositing to Loopring Layer 3 to use the DAP. Uh, we generally recommend minimum $200 deposit will ensure that you have full access to like, all this suite of products and all their functionality. And that's it for today. Uh, stay tuned for future videos, future walkthroughs, demos, and tutorials. Thanks, everyone.